4th of July. With the hot temperatures and lots of sunshine, this 4th of July has been a great day to get out on the water. But while boating can be fun, there are also dangers involved if you are not cautious. Nicole Christine looked into how you can be safer while celebrating on the water, and she joins us now with some advice from locals. Nicole. Thanks, Mike. Last year, the U.S. Coast Guard counted over 4,200 recreational boating accidents. And of those, there were over 2,000 injuries and over 600 deaths. These numbers serve as a reminder that a relaxing day on the water can turn dangerous if you aren't following simple safety measures. Carita Stone's family has been boating out on Sullivan Lake for decades. My whole life. I, I can't remember a time we weren't boating out here. Even though they're experienced boaters, they take safety very seriously, especially when it comes to setting an example for the little ones aboard. We wear our life jackets, and we always have an adult with us, right? Being smart with your own boat is important, but knowing how to navigate the waters with other boats and watercraft around takes extra vigilance. We normally are all set at different corners. So whoever's driving, we can tell them, hey, there's a boat coming up here, or there's a skier down there, or someone's flipped out of their tube. We just all watch. Even the kids are really good about it. That attentiveness is even more vital on busy holidays like the 4th of July, where more people are boating and more people are drinking. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, alcohol use is the leading known contributing factor in fatal boating accidents. And while drinking on a boat isn't illegal, moderation is essential. It's just the same way it is on the water that it is on land. You know, don't be driving or operating impaired or intoxicated in the boat. Stone's family shies away from drinking at all on their boat. It, drinking and boating just doesn't mix. It really doesn't. Too many causes for accidents. Can I get that accidents that can have irreversible consequences that no one wants to see happen on a holiday or any day. The Department of Natural Resources definitely do not want to go out here and be dragging the river for someone who's 